What's that word? What's that word, family? Hey, man, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Is to the screech, is to the mother effing screech. It's your homeboy, Low from the Go. I'm back with another episode of Fast and Furious Interviews. Now, today's guest, ladies and gentlemen, I brought to y'all a very talented young man that goes by the name of Young Deshaun. Young Deshaun, why don't you tell the people who you are and where you're from, bro? Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm your boy, Young Deshaun, a.k.a. No Cap Sean. I'm from the South Side of Chicago. All do that, motherfucker. Shout out my boy, g Mayel. Shout out Juice Duce, no, shout out Jason Gang Juju, shout out Rai Rai, shout out Zay Loco, shout out Chris Nitty, shout out HR Ray, shout out HR Chucky, shout out Rocky Times, and shout out my boy Zay Loco. Oh man, your crew deep, man, y'all deep in these streets. Hey, look, my ears was planted to the streets, and that's why I heard your music, bro. So I'm gonna pull up your video real quick. Tell us a little bit about this video, man. What was the inspiration behind it? Who's the cameraman? God damn, it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, shout out my boy DJ Films, he shot the video. And like, pretty much the inspiration behind this video is basically like, I just like started rapping not too long ago, like last December and shit. So it's like, this is basically like, like that's why you saw me laying down on that bed. Cause like, I was sleeping. That's like a sign like how everybody be sleeping on me. Now I'm up and they finna be up and it's like getting to me. So this is basically, basically like an introduction video. Like, I'm Young Deshaun, I'm coming for that spot. Ain't no nigga fucking with me. And I'm staying on that, period. It looked like you on your money, man. It looked like y'all got a nice little penthouse downtown Chicago, windows all around. Man, this nigga rich right here, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I be coming through with that bag and shit. I ain't rich yet, but I'm going to get it. But I, but I still got that shit. Don't get it fucked up here. We got we the money team. All right, so you said that you started rapping not too long ago, man. Uh, when did you notice that you was able to rap? Uh, Back in like... When I was like in like eighth grade, like, cause that's like, you know how, I don't know if y'all grew up like this or not, but like in like the lunchrooms and shit, motherfuckers used to be beating on the beating on the table with the pencil and shit, fake like they making a beat and shit. You know, I see everybody just rapping off the top of their head and shit. So then, funny thing, I'm like, fuck, let me hop in and join that bitch. And I just got to spinning and spinning and spinning. I come through a punch out there, everybody, the whole crowd going wild and shit. They ain't this bitch throwing, throwing food at the window. Yeah, you know I mean, we got the tension after that shit, but it was still fun as hell though. You a young man, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's a question that I want to ask everybody that comes on to the show. Yeah. Did you grow up in a two-parent home? Oh yeah, I did. Uh, what type of man was your father? Uh, he he was he was honest man. He was honest man. He 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 be working and shit. You know like you know like he the like to provide other house and he's actually st actually stand on that shit. So your mom and your dad been together your whole life. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got brothers and sisters. I got two of them. Two what? Two, two, uh, two, I got two little brothers. I'm the oldest mm -hmm. in my family. Oh, you the oldest in your family? So you got a pretty young uh, father and mother then, right? Like they yeah. got 60. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, man. So uh, how was it for you growing up? Shit, it was, I mean, shit, it was somewhat smooth throughout the, throughout the whole process and everything. You know, we still had some struggles and, and, in and out like from here and there but at the same time like we all came together as family and we all as long as we got each other we gonna be sh straight forever no matter what it is so that so that's pretty much what it was like we we struggle but we ain't fucked up fucked up struggle you know like we just struggle but we still bounce back from the mills you know did you graduate high school bro oh yeah i graduated last year hmm. man, congratulations you know what i'm saying uh Thank you. what type of student was you I mean, I was an honor, I was an honor roll student. I mean, I'm not no straight A student, but you know, I got like A, A's, B's, and sometimes a couple C's. But like last year, I made it through with A's and B's. Do you think you would have been that type of student and this type of person without your father being in the house? I mean, I mean, yeah, cause my cause my mama and grandma didn't play none of that. Like, don't go to school shit. They like, you go to school, you get your education, you gonna need it. You'll thank me later. I needed it. I even though I didn't want to do it, I did it, and I thanked them afterwards. Are you planning on going to college? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in it. Okay, okay. Shit. Well, uh, what was it like transitioning from middle school to high school? Because you're from Chicago, right? Right. Yeah. Born and raised. What high school did you go to, and what was the difference between middle school and high school? I went to Kenwood Academy High School, and I and like I went, I was rich, I was in 
Woodlawn my middle school years. So it's like middle school, like everything was all fun and games at the time. Cause like it's like we was goofing off in classrooms. I mean, still getting, I was still getting worked up. We was goofing off in classrooms. You know, have some somewhat having food fights and shit. You know, trying to act like we could pull all the girl, all the hoes and shit. But uh, in high school, it was somewhat the same, but at the same time, it wasn't the same. Cause like everybody in this bitch older, so it's like. All the goofy, goofy shit that we was doing back then, we couldn't do that in high school. Otherwise, you had to be an outcast in that motherfucker. Right. 2012. Let's go back to 2012. JoJo releases the Chief Keef diss track, DDK, man. Where was you at when that, that song came out? I was at my uncle's house with my little with my little cousin because, like, at the time, we was Chief Keef fans and everything. So I was with my, my little cousin and my and my second my second younger second brother, my first first younger brother. He like middle child shit, but uh, we was at our, we was at my cousin's house shit. We was like some Chief Key fans at the time. The Chief Key came out before JoJo, and when JoJo dropped that dropped that song, it said Chief Keep this, and then we like, hold on, what they what are you talking about, fool? So we turn that on the computer and shit, and then we see these motherfuckers up with guns and shit, like just waving all at the camera, rapping, saying BBDK over here, 100K, and we they just little dirt and everything. We like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck to say about this. That's I didn't even know that there was a such thing as little boys like eighteen and shit holding guns, like AKs, all type of shit. Like they had a chopper and shit. I ain't never seen no chopper in my life until I saw that shit. That's wow, funny. that's crazy because Lil JoJo was the one that actually brought guns into videos. Like Chief Keep was not showing guns in his videos at that point. And Lil Jojo came out with that video. That shit was crazy. What did you notice? Because you was in middle school at that time, right? I was I was in elementary school at the time. All right, so Lil Jojo comes out with that song. What was the next day like in school? The next day in school? I mean, truth be told, like everyone that everyone in my school, they 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 was some little kids at the time. Like they ain't like grow up the way I grew up and shit. But, so like they wasn't really talking about that. They wasn't even thinking about music like that at the time. So it was like I was pretty much the only one who knew that shit. And when I brought it up, they didn't know what I was talking about. And we had no phone at the time, so we couldn't like pull up YouTube and show them and shit. But like I just I just told them they didn't understand it. it. It was like if they knew, they knew. If they didn't, they didn't. I was the only one aware of this shit. I was still thinking about that shit. I'm in this bitch doing homework thinking about that. Tell you what you thinking about like the, the video, like the visual. Yeah, just, cause like like truth be told, like I was nine years old at the time. Like imagine nine years old seeing a motherfucker with a chopper pointed at you, even though it wasn't pointed at me because it was a video and shit. It's like a chopper and pistols, all type of shit pointed at you. I was scared of little JoJo back then. But I was not. When did everybody start noticing that song? That, that song, she like Pretty much like when they was internet beefing going back, like when he was internet beefing going back and forth with Lil Reese, Chief Keef, and uh, Lil Durk. And, that, and there was even a video of him pulling up on Lil Reese and everybody was talking about that shit too. I was like, oh shit, he, he was about to kill his ass, but he didn't do it. Shortly after JoJo came out with that song, he was shot and killed, man. How did you feel when you heard that? Uh, to be told, like, I was I was nine years old. Like, keep in mind, I was a little boy at this time. I had like, even though we was watching kids shows and all that shit, we supposed to think like motherfuckers will live forever. I mean, when that when that when that nigga died, we was I was I was I was confused. Like, wait a minute, he died? Does that mean like he okay or like is he not okay? They talking about he not okay. He dead. Like he can't talk no more. None of that shit. I'm like, that don't even make no sense. Like, I'm like I'm I'm nine years old thinking like we all can live forever and we can always talk and live happily ever after. Whole time that shit ain't even true. So it's like. What the fuck, man? What? How? I ain't know what to think at the time. But at the same time, like JoJo wasn't my homie, so I ain't really cry about it or think or like care too much for it. But it's like, damn, folks, he just died. You said that you did a lot of traveling from school to school back when you was young, right? Oh yeah, like during my elementary days. Why was that? Uh, as a little boy and shit, like I was, I was bad at school because like I was like. Like I was always like put, calling people names. I was I was always like throwing food on the floor. I was like just now I was basically just being bad. And and then my mom would like move me and shit. And then I'm like, my like, mom, can you please stop moving? I'm like, moving to different school. I'm trying to make more friends and anything. Cause like at all these schools, there was a few people I like, but I ain't never get to be friends with. Them. So it's like I answered that. 
she did me that favor and just let me stay in this one, like this one school. I, that was my last time tra transferring. Like last, the last school I was at before tr transferring and stopping was Claremont Academy. Yeah. And how did you like going there? What was it like? Oh, like I, I mean, I ain't like, <laughs> I ain't like. I was bad at that school. Because then anyway, after I transferred, like I somewhat stopped being bad, even though I was still bad. Shit, but I was five, so it's like they, like they had to give me a chance multiple chances because i'm five i ain't no better when you went to high school did you uh go to one school or did you go from high school to high school i stayed at that one high school what school was that again Kim, that was kenwood academy high school 